Carlos. Uh, hello, good old South Bend Shaver. So I made this part in here. The part you made, I made it a little bigger and beefier because I had to remount the bronze block because it was worn and it was pretty sloppy. So now it's a nice tight fit, very carefully made, oversized, and fits in the, that slot in the very back. Just perfect. So there's no slop or anything. And what I'm doing is just uh, cleaning it up, cleaning out all the guck and stuff, using solvent and brushes and things and get it all clean and off to the races. And that's uh, South Bend Shaver. Little fellow, I uh, call him. A nice piece, actually. Um, so I'm gonna let it sit overnight and clean it all out tomorrow. Clean out a lot of chips. Seems like chips like to get in these things, so I clean them out. As well as we got this shaper. It's got a few chips inside, but the gear ram are at least an inch wide. Maybe more than huge stuff for such a small shaper. Um, access door on the side here, of course. It's in immaculate condition. Everything is tight. It's kind of like an old style design on here, if I get down here. Well, that's kind of uniquely classic, isn't it? That's where the motor is. The belts come up here, and it's adjustable by this hand wheel over here for speed, variable speed drive. Extremely heavy type thing. Uh, it has to weigh maybe more than this lathe, which is an old Elgin. As much as this uh, jet lathe, I think. It's very thick casting. Space age kind of design, isn't it? Uh, the stroke, I think, is 12 inches or 13 or something like that, if I remember correctly. I haven't used it yet, but quite a unique one. I don't know if, you, if anybody knows what brand it is. It's, I don't know, but who had it before took great care of it. I was very proud of it. So that's uh, the talk on shapers today.